There have been curious murders happening recently around London. The press calls him the Avenger. It seems that he targets drunken women, but no one knows why. The entire town is going nuts about it. But my husband and I don't have time to care about these incidents. We're already learning to be cold. We don't want to learn how to go hungry just yet. Then, by the door, was a long, lanky figure of a man, clad in an Inverness cape and an old-fashioned top hat, with a narrow bag in his left hand. A gentleman. He says that he came for a lodging. Our savior. He even paid a generous amount of money ahead of time. He introduced himself as Mr. Sleuth. I went upstairs to show him his room. He was pleased with the room, although he seemed nervous about the lovely paintings on the wall of women. He later asked me to take them down. Life with the lodger went smoothly, except for his curious habits that nagged on the back of my mind. One time, I put aside his bag, and then he came up to me asking, "Where's my bag?" With a note of sharp, angry fear in his voice. Since then, he locks up his bag in the dresser of his room. But on the other hand, he has money flying all over his room. I would do the opposite if I had any shillings to fly in my room, and I'm sure others would too. Also, I'm sure he has a heavy hatred towards women. When I pass by his room, I often hear him reading aloud to himself the passages from the Bible that are very uncomplimentary to my sex. It's sometimes a bit disturbing, but I kept these thoughts to myself. There are nights when I'm awoken by the sound of Mr. Sleuth coming down the stairs. Softly, quietly, he tiptoes out of the house. I found it impossible to go back to sleep. I lied awake, counting the minutes until I finally heard Mr. Sleuth come back three hours later, creeping back into the house. Every time Mr. Sleuth went out, the newspapers announced another murder the next morning. My suspicion grew, and I began to grow mentally unstable. If my suspicions are correct, I can't tell anyone about this. He is our savior. I'm not sure it's his fault that he's like this. He's my poor gentleman.